Yes, us, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Pasanikta, and here we are playing some more Grim Fandango. Where we last left off, we met Meche over here. She was the one of the clients that we stole from Domino's delivery like thing. So we stole her, but we went to go give her her ticket for the, what was it, the 9 train? But it says that she's not available for it, even though she's been, like, volunteering places and she led a really good life when she was alive. So, let's see what we can do to, to help this girl out, because she's been good. We got, she's got to get her, uh, she's got to get the stuff that she's earned while she was alive. Let's see, can we talk to her anymore? I'm still in the case, Mitchie, but I haven't found anything for you yet. Maybe I'm not the woman you were hoping for. Oh, well, don't say it like that. Alright, let's go outside. Maybe we can talk to, like, Ava or something. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. What? You didn't let me down. Something's just wrong with the system. Maybe the server's down again. Because <laughs> we broke it so many times. Alright, let's see what Ava says. Hey, oh. funny bones! In my office! Now! You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent! There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine. Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients to Domino. That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service? Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! Okay. So, we fucked up. So, Meche is now... She's, she's walking by herself. She's gonna be walking for four years. Alright, is there a way to get out? Hey! Anybody out there? Oh, hi, hi. So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? What? Who's out there? I'm you. Or rather, I was you years ago. Yeah, well, I'm me now, so get lost. Uh... Get me out of here. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. But wait, I don't want to. Yeah, well, I got something they can stick in their fold. You have to try harder than that, Manuel. A man's loyalties decide his destiny. But I don't want to say my loyalties to the DOD because it's not. They ran like a crooked system. The DOD runs a crooked game. And I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club. Salvador Limones and guest. Where are you taking me? To the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. So that's what that eye thing was. To do what exactly? 
We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny. I Eva. was a reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears, unprotected and alone. Like babies, Manuel. Like babies. <laughs> What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you? Agent Calavera. Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well, you won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, Manuel, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. Okay. So there's a secret organization against the Department of Death, but Ava isn't it. It's my boss's secretary's evil twin. Just me, honey. <laughs> so you're not really a secretary. I'm a spy, Manny. Well, that's the last time we use that temp agency. <laughs> Any messages for me? Yes. Join or die. But I'm already... Again! <laughs> Uh... Doesn't Kapal wonder where you are? Don and Domino are both locked up in Don's office with some bigwig from downtown. Some fatty in a fez. Hmm. Who is the fat man, I wonder? And how does he fit into this sinister puzzle? Okay, Salvador. How long have you been a spy? Salvador recruited me about a year ago. I couldn't resist him. He's just so noble. What are you working on there? I'm trying to get this radio working so we can use it in the field. But it looks pretty hopeless. Salvador is right. We need good old-fashioned homing pigeons to communicate with our field agents. You homing have field pigeons. agents? No, it's just Sal and me right now. But someday, Manny. Eva, you gotta get me out of town. They're gonna sprout me. You can't leave, Manny. We need access to the DOD computer network if we're ever gonna find out what's going on. And we can't access without a salesman like you. The computer IDs you when you log on. How does it do that? Fingerprints? I don't have any. Your teeth, Manny. Haven't you ever noticed your computer scanning your teeth when you log on? I thought that was just a power search. We need your teeth, Manny. We can't let you go. Sorry. So, you won't help me out of here. Sorry. I'll help you out, but not your teeth. Think it over. Okay. Uh, let's talk to Salvador. Open that door, Sal. I got places to go. Does that mean you're ready to join us? Um... Do you know something I don't know? Have you ever wondered why your clients, even your best clients, never seem to qualify for the packages you know they deserve? Yes. My last client in particular, Mechi. Well, they all did qualify, Manuel. Especially her. But somehow, somebody with access to the files has stolen their just rewards. Their sweet hereafters. Their tickets on the number nine? Precisamente, amigo. Okay. What would they do with the tickets? A ticket on the number nine is like a leaf of gold, Manuel. Especially to one who has died with a less than perfect record. Someone is profiting here from those that would buy their way into heaven. But money's not important here. We all just want out. You want to get out, Manuel. And so do I someday. But for some people, this world is all there is. They have decided to seek pleasure and happiness here in the Eighth Underworld. And for that, you need money. Hmm. Okay. All right, I'm in. What do I have to do? Okay, I'm in. What do I have to do? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'm getting If some I pigeons. grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No, I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? 
Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. Now that's all the briefing you need, soldier. Viva la revolución! <laughs> I like him. Kind of crazy, but I like him. This computer shut off. We salvaged that unit when the company threw it away. But we have yet to get it working. When we do, we'll need you to get us into the system. I'll be long gone before then. We'll see, Manuel. Not portable. This computer shut off. Okay. It's a slide projector. Manuel, I was looking at that. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess we can't what go this through go? here. To a secret tunnel out of the city, but it opens for members of the LSA only. Okay, so I can't go in there yet. So let's leave. We need to get carrier pigeons for Salvador. I do remember seeing some pigeons oops, up here. Because we went on the, the balcony to get into um, uh, Don's room. There were some pigeons, so maybe they have some eggs lying around. Are they over here? I think. Oh, this is. The drapes are drawn. Dom and Dom must still be in there. <gasps> Wait a minute. Domino's in there. Can I go into his room? Hmm. Dom's office is empty. Aha. Uh -huh. There's nobody in Domino's office. Ooh. Can we go in? Yes. Oh, nice. Can I take this? No, I can just drink from it. Um. Ooh. What's in the drawer, Domino? What the? Wait, what, what? It looks like a glowing hunk of coral. Like what? Doesn't do much but glow. Glory. Okay, we got some coral. Um. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Can I punch this thing? What a jock. Wait, what's this? It's attached pretty well. Oh, it moved. Punch it again. Punch it again. What is that? It's Domino's mouthpiece. Oh. Ew. Ugh. Domino had this in his mouth. Ew. Alright, is that... Is that everything in here? Can I go into his, like, computer or something? It's meant for mouths. Oh, no, not that. I'm gonna try to guess his password. Nope. It's not Golden Boy. <laughs> I'm gonna try to guess his password. Oh, okay. And it's not Mr. D either. Oh, so there's different ones. So much for Dami. Okay. I think that's probably gonna go on for a while. <laughs> We're not gonna have enough time for that. Um, alright, let's leave. Um, alright, there's some pigeons up here. And there's a ladder up there, so I feel like we need to... Go up higher, but there's a... It's like broken over there. Sorry, I just want to lower that just a second. It was kind of ringing in my ears. Um. Yeah, I can't. Hmm. There's a piece of rope here. Oh. Oh. 
Wait, can I look it's at it? It's the loose end of the rope made of ties. It's pretty long, though. Oh. Uh, wait a minute. What do we have? A balloon. The fire extinguisher still. Bread. Oh, that's the coral, I'm guessing. And then the mouthpiece. Um, maybe can I attach? That's not on fire. No. Okay. Can I attach something to the rope? Maybe this thing? Wait, that actually worked? I was no not expecting that's how that. Domino meant it to be used. That is not how I expected that to work. All right, throw it. <gasps> yes, progress. Oh my god, cool. Climb across. Oh, oh, jeez, don't fall, Manny. Okay. All right, let's go up and get some, get some eggs. Come on, Manny. Go up. There we go. He got stuck there for a second. Come on. Ooh, look at all the pigeons. Honestly, though, if I saw, like, those little skeletal things, like, <laughs> in real life, it, I would probably be shitting my pants because they look frightening. They're all like guarding it, I guess. I don't like the looks of those pigeons. I don't have a net or a desire to have a pet pigeon. Okay. I need to do something. What's this? Ah, the pigeons obviously like this dish vent. Dish vent. Wait a minute, I have the bread. I to eat out of clean dishes that aren't nailed to the roof. No, that's not what I wanted. If I give them the bread... Where is it? There we go. I can put the bread and they can eat. And then while they're eating, I can take the egg, right? That'll work. Only a few of them flew over. Hey! Ooh! Watch it! Uh that didn't work. Why did that not work? Ah, the pigeons obviously like this dish vent. It's part of the roof. a lot of them though there were only like a few of them came by I have a feeling I had the right idea with the bread but I just need to figure out is there something else I need to put in there like well in any case I need to go get more bread so I'll be right back okay guys I think I have a crazy idea but I think this might work. What if I put the balloon in here? Maybe that will scare them. Eventually. Aha! And then put the bread in. That way once they eat, it'll pop. And then hopefully that'll scare the rest of them. Hopefully I don't have to do it like multiple times because that would be kind of annoying. Please let this work. I think it worked. <gasps> yes! Yeah, beat it, you lousy little ledge pickers! <laughs> Alright. 
Let's go get those eggs. So that's where the vermin come from. You must come with me, young ones, for I am the Green Reaper. Jesus. Okay, take the eggs. Can take Man, are those pigeons gonna be ticked. Alright, well, let's just get out of here before the pigeons come back. Let's go back to Salvador. And then we can leave the city, apparently. Go down. I think the way to get back is this thing, if I remember correctly. Agent Calavera and two guests. <laughs> Showing them the egg. Hey Salvador, I have your eggs. Check these babies out. Excellent, Manuel. With these, I can breed an entire army of winged messengers. Our revolution can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, thanks to you. Agent Yay. Calavera. I myself yes. would also like to spread across the land. But you can't. We need your dental work here to access the computer. I am sorry, but freedom has its price. All right, well... So we have the eggs. I have a mouth guard. I suppose if we get some type of like a paste. It's Domino's mouthpiece. Why am I carrying this around? If we get some type of paste, we could just bite into it and make our own. Right? Let's see if there's anything in here. I can't go out that way. Um, look at the, t <laughs> the track marks made from our, our bike. Alright, the door's open over here. Where's Gladys? Hey, what did they do with Gladys? Oh, this is where I was stuck. How does Gladys fit in here? Jesus. What is this? It looks like it dispenses something called Philodent. It stays here. Oh. Ooh, ick. It came out like soft serve ice cream, but judging by the smell, I think it's auto body filler. Can we use with this? Fill a dent. Good for dents, great for dentures. And then can we use this? Nice. Wow, that made a perfect impression of my teeth and looked quite a chalky aftertaste too. Okay, cool. Well, we got that then. Let's go back to Salvador. Man, I am on a roll today. Especially after the fuck up that I had last time. <laughs> this is my my saving grace. All right, let's go. Come on, man. You gotta walk a little bit faster, bud. Got something here that might interest you. All right, Salvador, we got your pigeons, we got your dentures. I'm not sure what to make of that. Why don't you show it to my intelligence officer? All right, Eva, here are my teeth. Manny, this looks like a perfect impression of your teeth. We can use this as a mold to make a fake set of teeth and get into the computer system that way. Good work, soldier. Why couldn't we just use the clay? You are a friend of the revolution, Agent Calavera. And now, 
Let me be of service to you. You must go to the town of Rubacaba, my friend. You want to find your lost soul. How do you know where she is? I don't. But everyone who wants to get to the Ninth Underworld must cross the Sea of Lament, and therefore must go to Rubacaba to get passage on a ship. As long as you get there before she does, you'll find her. But it may be quite a wait. I'll wait as long as it takes. Manuel, are you in love with her? Love? Love is for the living, Sal. I'm only after her for one reason. She's my ticket out of here. Is that El Maro? That was some tunnel. I'm all the way to the edge of the petrified forest. Ah, El Maro, my hometown. May I never see it again. <laughs> okay. We just came out of this little root thing. Um, let's go here. <laughs> what is? God is my friend. Why are you crying? Maddie? Oh, Maddie, they fired me! <laughs> oh. Me too, buddy. You don't understand, Maddie. I was created just to do that job. It's the only thing that makes me happy. It's like they reached into my chest and pulled out my heart and threw Ooh. it into the woods to... Gladys. <laughs> Gladys, what, what have you done? Oh, Gladys. Did he just? Oh, ew. Oh, ew, spider bats. <laughs> I wonder how long he can live without a heart. Hmm. Oh. Wake up, buddy. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. Um, I think this is a good area to end the episode. <laughs> Poor guy's snoring. Um, but yeah, this was an interesting episode. We got some carrier pigeons, and we also got some, uh, dentures, and now we gotta go find Gladys's heart. Which is interesting, to say the least. Um... But you know what? Like I said, I'm going to end the episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to leave a like, comment, or subscribe to my channel to see more content. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Yes, us.